Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Tanya from Mind, Body, and Soul Company. And today we're gonna to be making a cold process soap uh, scented with orange essential oil and colored with uh, orange powder. We're also gonna use some uh, calendula in it as well, um, in the soap and on top of it. I have my oils ready to go here, as well as my lye water solution. So we're gonna go ahead and get the lye water poured into our oils and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my lye water and pour that uh, down my stick blender just to help with any air bubbles. Go ahead and get that poured in. I do have all my safety gear on, my gloves, uh, long sleeves, and my safety glasses. And now we're gonna tap out those air bubbles and then give it a quick blend. <laughs> essential oil um, from Brambleberry. It will discolor, um, so that's where some of the color in the soap is gonna come from. So got that all poured in. I'm just gonna give it a little mix. There we go, we'll blend it also, but this is just to get it started here. And you can see does start to discolor it, which is fine. We're going for an orange soap anyway, so. There, and we are gonna blend it. Wipe that off some. Okay, next I'm gonna go in head and pour in, this is orange powder as well as some calendula. Um, it does have to be mixed in, otherwise it can get kind of clumpy. We'll go ahead and dump that in. Give it a good mix. I'm gonna actually stir it in a little bit first and then we'll use the stick blender. So we'll get it started for us. Love that color so far. I actually think I might want a little bit more of the calendula in the batter. You don't want a ton in there, um, but a little bit in there is nice. There we go. Started getting that mixed in. We'll go ahead and give it a blend. Wipe the 
this all off. It smells awesome. I love the smell of orange. It's just clean and refreshing, kind of wakes you up. a paper towel real quick. All right, so I got my mess cleaned up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my mold. It's starting to thicken up, but it's not bad yet. Get it all in there and scrape it out. The cleaner you can get your containers, the less clean up you'll have to do. I'm pretty good about it on the container portion, but I'm still working on getting it on the uh, stick blender. Let me get the rest of this scraped up here. Okay, and just set that to the side. Move this out a little bit, and I'll clean up the top of the mold as well. Then, give me a moment, I'm just gonna tap that down. Okay, so I got it tapped down and some of my mess cleaned up off the side. Then I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna drag across, just for a little bit of texture. Nothing overly fancy. And we're gonna, there we go. That looks better. Drag all the way across. And I'm gonna do the same thing going this way. going to take a little more of the calendula and I'm going to sprinkle that just down one side. A little bit just to give it some texture. done. I'm going to let this set up for 24 to 48 hours in the mold and then we will come back to cut. And here's a close-up once I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol and then we'll be back for the cut. All right it has been about 24 hours so we are back to uh, cut the soap. I've already popped it out of the mold. Go ahead and get the first bar here. And then when you uh, pull it out, you do wanna twist it off. That way you don't get too many drag marks. And set that down and there we go. We'll clean them up a little bit, but that is my orange essential oil and calendula soap. As with uh, any cold process soap, you do uh, need to let it cure. So it'll be 
four to six weeks before this is actually ready to sell. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I do enjoy making them. I am newer to making videos, so still kind of in that learning process. And I'll clean up the drag marks from the calendula. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.